In my blog last minute cheat sheet for GCPPCA exam, I list four decision trees to help you to choose the right services in the exam. Let's walk through the first one, storage and database decision tree. The decision tree starts with the questions, is your data structured? If it is not, choose cloud storage. If your data is structured, does your workload focus on analytics? If it does, you will want to choose Cloud Bigtable or BigQuery, depending on your latency and update leads. Otherwise, check whether your data is relational. If it is not relational, choose Cloud Firestore. If it is relational, you will want to choose Cloud SQL or Cloud Spanner depending on horizontal scalability. You can go to the following two GCP web pages to review GCP storage products and GCP databases options. Let's quickly go through them. The first one is the storage products. You can see the use cases for each product. For example, cloud storage for object, blob storage, archive storage, the persistent disk and local SSD for block storage. By the way, my blog lists the comparison among the storage options and I will make a video to talk more details among persistent disk, HDD, and SSD. You can see the file store for file storage. Mobile apps use cloud storage for Firebase. And you will see the transfer uh, service to transfer data from on-prem to cloud or cloud-to-cloud -cloud transfer. By the way, I didn't see any collaboration questions in my exam, but you might want to know the high-level concept of the collaboration products just in case. The second page is on the databases options. The GCP database servers for the relational and non-relational databases such as uh, Cloud SQL, Cloud Spanner for relational databases, uh, Cloud Bigtable, Cloud Firestore for uh, NoSQL databases. Uh, I like this comparison table on uh, what are you building. For example, if you need global data distribution, and a scale insurance for the relational databases, then you should choose Cloud Spanner. It also listed the other features on those services such as replica consistency, um, the multi primary joins and the complex queries, real time sync. So this is a give you an idea how to choose the right service for your database options. You can also go to the GCP documentations to review the details uh, on each GCP service. At the last, I summarized GCP storage and database decision tree with the keywords in the user cases for you to easily remember for the exam. The options divide into object, relational, non-relational, and data warehouse. For example, the cloud storage is for unstructured data, archive, temporary storage, 
It is the lowest cost storage option for up to X bytes. The user cases include images, media serving, data lakes for backups. A Cloud BigQuery data warehouse service is different than the other OLTP service in this table. It is for OLAP. Well, you got the points. Pause this video if you need more time to review the keywords of each service. Thank you for your time and see you in the next lecture.